Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another City of Newcastle episode. Um, since last time, we've only played six games, and I'll be honest with you, most of them are cup games. So we've not actually played too many games in the league. We currently sit top at the top of the table. Um, let's take a look at the results in the games that we played since last time. So following last episode, where we played uh, Colville and Alv Church, where we got mixed results, I think is um, best to say. We've uh, we've got unbeaten in the league. The only issue is we've only played two league games. Um, other than that, we've played uh, cup games. Um, Yorkshire Amateur in the FA Cup uh, first qualifying round, a 2-1 win there. Two penalties. Two quite late penalties against, well, Yorkshire Amateur. Yeah, a team that we should definitely be beating um, by more than just two penalties. But anyway, moving on, we had a, a cup penalty shoots out win where we kind of reverted to the diamond and it was kind of yeah i'm not too sure i've gone back to to the old formation as you can see the 4-2-4 uh where we got a fa cup second qualifying round win um so i think that puts us through to the first round i might uh no there's actually quite a few qualifying rounds i'm um, that that was wrong i am now into the third qualifying round and we've got tamworth i mean not important we're not seeing that in this episode this episode we're playing against fifth and second lowest off town first and kettering to follow so here's match day against lowest off we're away from home so we've traveled all the way to lowest off um which i believe is like suffolk i think maybe i used to live in norfolk so i really should know if it is in suffolk or not but I'm not sure. Let's um, let's have a look at the team that's going to be facing off in this game against Lowestoft. Okay, so this is the team that's going to be facing off against Lowestoft. We're starting off with Eastham in goal. I'm noticing he's actually wanted by some some quite big teams, you know, actually. I mean, League 1 uh, side Huddersfield are wanting him, as well as League 2 Accrington and Ashton, who are below us. So that's interesting. But yeah, so Connor Easton getting some interest from some bigger teams. I mean, he is a good goalkeeper. I won't deny that. Um, whether he's quite that quality, I'm. I mean, I'm yet to see. I think he's been. Don't get me wrong. Makes plenty of saves. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe. But um, going through the rest of the team, we've got Robinson at right back, Ritson and Gamblin at centre back, with West at left back we've got a player not from the academy relatively new signing clive manship who you've probably not seen before um again really struggling with playing uh, well getting a decent midfield too harry vince is playing there at the moment but i mean he's not been playing too well that's not what we're playing him in so don't judge his stats on that this is how we're playing him and so he's you know he's got the ability to to play that well he just he's not done it so far uh, Rio Dyer on the right, Paul Miller on the left, and then Levi Welsh and Clued Stone up front. I'm hoping for some good results. Okay, so it's quite a big game, this one. They're definitely a team that can cause us problems. Um, and I'm, to be fair, I'm pretty confident that they'll be thinking the same thing about us. So hopefully we can go out there and deliver exactly what they're expecting of us. And that's a tough game. Um, as you can see at the moment, I've already said it, uh, we are top of the league, so... You know, it's really close up there at the moment. Um, and winning games like this will press us on really far to actually doing quite well this season and potentially managing to win the title and get promotion. Um, highlights obviously going on here in the background. Um, we're now getting forward with it. Ball into the box towards Miller and Miller heads just over the bar. Wasn't a bad chance. It was a good cross in from the fullback. I've been considering playing my fullbacks as wingbacks because they, they tend to get forward quite a bit anyway so i'm thinking what would happen you know if i tried to convince like if i gave them the instruction to get forward a bit more you know would it work better or you know well would it not i'm noticing shuttleworth is playing for lower stuff i think this might be the same shuttleworth that we used to have um i'll check that in a minute but first we've got the lower stuff uh chance here um can we win the ball back and maybe counter? Manship's got his head on it, and Paul Miller has got it. Big ball forward towards Clue Stone, but Stone's not going to get there. And there's a, oh, there's a little deflection there between some of the, the players, including the goalkeeper, and it could have fallen really nicely for Stone, but it didn't. West into the box now, and it's a free kick. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. Let's have a look then quickly to see whether 
it is actually our Shuttleworth. No, oh, it is Sam Shuttleworth. You can't see because um my face is hiding it. Here he is. A couple of seasons he spent with us. Yeah, I mean he was good. He was really good. Yeah, I mean we could probably bring him in. Apart well, he's not interested. He's relocated to basically the other side of the country and he's not willing to relocate back. So fair enough, Sam. You you do you. Okay, so that's half time and it is nil nil. I mean, again, not a bad result for against a team at the top of the table, but then at the same time, if we really want to be pressing on and winning this division, I feel like these are the kind of games that can really help us do that. So it's drawing's not a bad result, but it's not the result we want. And we got a highlight almost instantly from kickoff of the second half. Manship with a big ball forward towards Stone. What is he going to do? He's going to probably yeah, play it back to Miller. and Who plays it back to Vince? Who plays it back to West? And West, our left back, who is getting themselves forward, gets a shot on goal. And it's not too far away. I was, I'll was, i be honest, I was thinking that that was probably going to head in. Um, Kettering are ahead. So they are now level on points with us. Um, yeah, we've dominated this game, can I just say. We've, we've done really well. Um, so I really want to to get a goal so i'm gonna go positive and see if we could do something some players aren't playing too well um i'm looking at dyer um as one of those so lucas de bol is gonna come on and stone i think is gonna come off for finley clift who's i mean when he's played he's not played too well i'll tell you what i'm making the third change as well um manship's gonna come off for jordan hickey who is is actually a new player um I, I believe. I don't think he's a new player. He's, he's new to the squad. He's not played too much. Right, we've got a long throw now from West. Into the box. And Clift! First goal of the season. Off the bench. He's going to be our super sub. It's really quite sad because our coaches are saying, yeah, we don't need him. He's not good enough for this team. But still, he has the ability to be in the right place at the right, right time. And a long throw from West. Gets us the goal really late on 89th minute. Time has ticked away. That's a win. One win against lower stuff. That's a really good result. And that smash and grab is exactly what we needed. So it was a good performance. It was a good win. Really well played. Um, I mean, more goals would have been nice, but we dominated the game. We got the goal when we needed it most. And we've got the three points, most importantly. We cannot complain at that. Okay, so it's match day for our home game against Kettering, and I thought I'd show you this. We're not favourites for the game. Uh, Kettering are, they probably, I mean, they have a better squad than us, clearly. Um, but hopefully we can defy the odds and get ourselves a result. Uh, it's match day, like I said. Let's go have a look at the team that's going to be facing off against Kettering. So this is the team. It's, um, well, it's exactly the same. Um, I have changed my wing backs or full backs to wing backs. And then I've also changed our in possession for our temperature to be a little bit lower. Try and take our time with it. I might even go even lower and try and, yeah, really take our time on the ball. That is what I'm going to do. And hopefully, you know, keep possession. Don't waste it. Make the most of it. Maybe score some goals along the way. Who knows? Um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so hopefully more of the same in this game from the last one against Lowestoft. Um, we've done, I mean, we've done quite well to beat them. Obviously, they were in fifth and they're now down in eighth as things stand at the moment. Obviously, that's with goals around the stadiums going in. Uh, we have an early highlight and it does look like it's us on it. Robinson's on the ball now. He should be starting to try and get forward a bit more as a wing back. Vince plays it forward to Stone, who plays it back to Vince. Paul Miller now. Everything's going through Vince at the moment, I'm noticing. Dyer, as you can see, players are taking their time with it. It was a really good bit of play and a really good ball over the top. It was offside. Um, but I'll tell you what, bright signs early on. And there's a throw in for Kettering. Um, Ogle's on it now. He plays it long forward to Smith Ferguson, who does get it done again forward to Smith Ferguson. Um, are we going to win that ball back? Manship does get a touch on the ball with his tackle, but not enough to get it away from the defender or the attacker, I should say. Ogle f across the Dunn. Ward hits it from distance and Easton. That is why he's wanted by so many big teams. He's really good at shot stopping. Uh, but Kettering are not done here. It's a corner ball in. Ward on the edge. Upson now. Can we get the ball out of our box? That would be quite nice. 
We do. Miller's on the ball now. Is this Harlow going to carry on or is that the end? I mean, he's got plenty of space to move into. So if he doesn't make a chance for this, I'd be surprised. Miller, good strike and a good save from the keeper. And I think that's probably going to be it as Welsh collects it. It's carried on and it's a foul. Are we going to see the free kick? It looks like we are, you know. Um, Miller's on the ball now. Crosses the ball into the box and Knightbridge, the goalkeeper, manages to get his hands on it. I tell you what. Both teams have had some really good chances, but I'm quite happy with with our performance so far. Um, and we do have another uh, highlight here, where which started with Kettering, and it's gone on to us. Ball forward to Stone, and he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And Cloyd Stone finishes for his 11th goal of the season to put us 1-0 up against Kettering. Come on, boys, you'd love to see it. Okay, long throw now. Dan Robinson throws the ball into the box towards Paul Miller, and Paul Miller doesn't manage to get anything on it. Um, and that isn't going to be the end of it, um, as the ball is kicked long by the keeper. But West gets it to Miller, who plays it out to Dyer, who puts it into the box. Welsh, with a head on it, flicks it to the far post. And Welsh, or Stone, I can't remember whoever it was at the far post, doesn't manage to score it. It comes off the crossbar, and it's half-time, and it's 1-0. It's a really good first half. We've not dominated possession like I wanted us to, but we had the chances... And Kettering haven't really been able to do anything with theirs. I'll be honest, quite happy with the performance so far. So I'm not going to take my assistant's recommendation. I'm going to tell them that I'm happy with the performance and to keep it up because more of this and we'll be going on and getting a really healthy victory by the end of the game. Okay, corner ball now for City of Newcastle and West is on it, who flicks it towards Gamblin. He doesn't flick it, he crosses it into Gamblin, who flicks it to the far post and Levi Welsh with his 15th goal of the season puts City of Newcastle 2-0 up. We've doubled our advantage. I mean, this was supposed to be a difficult game. We're now top of the league. We're still top of the league, I should say. We already were. And as you can see, five points clear from now Hearn Bay. No longer Kettering. They're equal on points with Kettering. I'm going to calm down because Kettering have just scored to make it 2-1. Matty Dunn, who to be fair has been causing us some problems so far in this game, has managed to get a goal back and half the deficit to just one goal. Now, come on now. Let's not combust. Let's Here we go. Let's do more of this. West into the box. Gambling. He is... Yeah, I don't know. He's just he's him, Lucas Gambling. What can you, what can you call him? He's just he's so well rounded. I mean, that's the second time he's gotten on the end of a corner. This time he's put it away. The time before he flicked it onto the far post for us to get another goal. He is probably my favourite player at the moment, Lucas Gambling, because he's so consistent. I just I love him. Okay, with just a minute to go, it looks like it's done, and it is. It's a 2-1, it's not 2-1, it's 3-1. It's a 3-1 victory for City of Newcastle. We've extended our lead at the top of the league to five points now, and we've really put ourselves in a good position to go on and press for this league title. My outstretched arms are going to say, well done, lads. That was a good win for us, and I couldn't mean it any more than I do right now. Even my midfielders played well. I mean, we'll ignore the 6.7. That's not a bad uh, average rating, but the 7.0 from Harry Vince. Like I said right at the start, everything just seemed to be going through Harry Vince. He was the, the, the focal point in the team, and I mean, he's had a really good performance today. And here it is then, confirmation of the league table. We are top. We are five points clear with our nearest rivals being Hearn Bay. And Hearn Bay, can I just say, have played an extra game. So it will likely be Kettering in second place um, once we've played our games in hand, the pair of us. Hearn Bay have played an extra game, like I said. And yeah, I mean, look at the goal difference is all I can say. Look at the goal difference. We're 16 games in, not even halfway, and we've got a goal difference of positive 22. That's mental. Um, I tell you what, this season uh, so far is going so much better than I ever could have expected it to. Um, yeah, top in the league at this point or at any point wasn't something I honestly, realistically thought we were going to do because... I just thought this was how we always play. We always start off a little bit poor and then we get better and we reach the heights that we that we have done. 
Um, but this is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you have enjoyed. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Um, don't worry, there is plenty more content to go. And um, I mean, why not? We'll plug it. Twitch. Um, if you're a fan of Twitch, Football Manager on Twitch, I on a Tuesday and Thursday do a network save with Tommy Does Gaming. Um, he's a lovely, lovely guy. He's absolutely uh, ruining the save at the moment by stealing my players and um, offering them contracts so that they'll decline mine. But that's fine. When we go and beat him, it will all be worth it. The, the, the victory will be even sweeter. Uh, but yeah, I'll leave that down in the description as I always do. And until next time, I'll see you later.